Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not what makes you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 116, NASDAQ up 20, SP's up 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $17, trade 1997 an ounce. We have silver down 12 cents, $23, 15 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $71.33 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note, up two ticks, trading 110.10, 30 year flat, 118.31, and king dollar. King dollar right now trading. Up 100, no, trading up 82 ticks, 104.092, Euro 107, Yen 146, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we've been dealing with this ABC structure, folks, and the bottom line is that we're right next to it right now. So my take is that we're actually going to the highs, but... Bottom line, 462 is the number. Right now, we've hit 461.85 thus far. This market just continues to want higher price. We had a big expansion in volume on Friday, too, by the way, folks, okay? Uh, so the bottom line is that, you know, higher prices are coming at us. We take a look at this. Let's just bring this back. Yeah, yeah. Right there, okay. So... Once you launch this area, man, you know, bottom line, the only thing that's left is the highs. So it comes down to you at 461, you know, you know, now the S&P is 479 is quite away from, you know, from this area. But the bottom line is that, you know, when you launch one area and you only have highs left, that's where it wants to go. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX and the bottom line is that this is a wide price spread inside this NDX out here today, man. And you're going to get some volume behind the move. You know, so the last high that we had up here that was established, I, what is that number, man? Oh, it kills me. Okay. Bottom line is that we're, we're taking that swing point out and we're taking it out with volume. So what does happen is this. Now, this gets interesting, okay, because it's like, okay, is it an ABC up? But what does happen, folks, is that when you do an ABC, the A point, if you have a gap, the A point, you know, you you'd go above the gap. That's how it works. So, you know, on a weekly, let's get interesting. Let's look at this on a weekly and see what happens here. So on a weekly, there she is. On a weekly, you did an ABC up. Yep. I'll get these numbers when I come back. You did an ABC. Oh, no, no, I see what's going on. Okay, we're taking the B point out this week. That's what we're doing. So you're not gonna need a lot of volume for an ABC up. And there's enough happening out here this week because we get the CPI tomorrow. You get uh, the Fed on uh, Wednesday. Gold. Now let's go to the gold market because this is dicey, man. Okay, so you had the total breakout on gold. You have you're coming down with one point. No, with 148,000 contracts, it hasn't held the price. So November 21st is one of your actually key points to look at because it had a sign of strength. Now, it hasn't held, so that's saying that gold can get all the way down to the very end of this consolidation. You know, right, right now, you're at 1997. We're talking about a 1955 uh, level there. If we go to the GDX, let's take a look at the GDX because what you had out here is that, you know, it took four times up. Okay, so this is good in the GDX. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is what we needed. Okay, so in the GDX, you're down to the same point. You're down to the strength. You only get 12 million shares traded. It did reject 2908. That's a good number, man. Okay, we get, we're going to have action. That's what we, we needed this out here today, folks, okay? Because the bottom line is that you have right where the, the 28th is, you also 
you can come back on the other side with the last time that we went up and we tried to take out that consolidation going all the way back to the beginning of November. Was it the beginning of November? What is that? November or the end of October. Um, so that's a start. That's a start. You want, you want to see this thing get in the higher range once again. That's what we need. And then if we go, notes and bonds are going with us. What you have with the note and bond market is you got the rejection of lower price. Friday it came down. Let's see what we did out here. Yeah, you can see the, the contraction. The contraction is pretty amazing. We, we did, we did 2.1 million on Friday, but you were going into 2.7 contract-wise. This morning we did 1. Point, well, right now we did 1.2. You've already rejected lower price, so higher prices are coming at us there. You have the 10-year right now. We are yielding 4.239. And then if we get over to uh, good old King Dollar, we take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar's having a hard time basically getting, even getting to the 0 0.382. You know, that being said now, you know, the bottom line, the longer that you lay out here, you can see King Dollar is laying right at, right under a 0.382 retracement. Hasn't been able to make it. The, the last four trading days, um, it gets up, gets close, and then just gives it up at the close. So we'll see if that's exactly what is going to basically come down today. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial's bottom line is that, you know, you got the, <laughs> the high is the game out here, man. You know, we're at 30, uh, and, and you got to remember something that we talked about this last week. The DAX already took out its highs, all-time highs, the DAX in Germany. It's very unusual, folks, okay, that the DAX would take out all-time highs, and, you know, our S&P, as well as our Dow Industrials, and NASDAQ won't. Oh, no, it didn't. Hold it. No, no, no. One second. Hold it. Yes, it did. I just pulled the wrong one up. One second. Dax index. I pulled something. Yeah, look at this. I mean, not only took them out, now, now you, you're getting away from the highs. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.